the scenario I would have predicted to see. Here, my finger's shocking. Okay. Oh, that's dangerous. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back for another epic day. Grant Thompson loved everything about being in the air. Life just excited him. There wasn't a dull moment that went by when you were with Grant. He was always tinkering, looking for a new way to do something, and always finding a way to push the envelope. A lot of people admired Grant, and we've seen that as the last few weeks have gone on, and I think we'll continue to see that. Grant moved to Southern Utah because it was a place where he could go and feel closer to his creator, to his family, to have a life that he always dreamed of. We gathered on Saturday at Dixie Springs Park. The park that Grant used as a personal airport. I remember watching him fly for the first time and just seeing the thrill on his face as he flew off into the heavens to spend quality time with his creator and to find out really what the purpose of his life had become. Grant loved his fans, he loved his family, he loved his friends, and all of his connections. At the first celebration of life, locals, fans, people from all over came to celebrate him. Grant wanted us to celebrate his life and celebrate everything that he had become. And so in honor of that, we held two celebrations of life. The first of which we captured memories with those who were close to him and found time to mourn with the loss of our brother, our friend, our hero, our role model, and an inspiration that will live on forever. We will all miss Grant very much, but he would want us to live our lives to the fullest, just as he did. His wife spoke to us and gave us the secret to his success, and here it is, in her words. God brought him to this park. Uh, six months ago to allow him to live in the fullness of his joy every day until the day that he died. And I wanted to bring everybody out here again to celebrate that joy that he lived. And he lived every day to its fullest. There was not one day that went by that he didn't do exactly what he felt in his heart was the right thing for that day. I'm so grateful all of the outpouring of love that everyone has shown to me and the kids and um, just taking care of us and come with the most amazing memories and stories about Grant and I can't tell you how much joy it's brought to my heart to hear these stories so please keep them coming. As I just sat with the memory of him and 
you know, feeling what he would have wanted. He he wants this to be a time of celebration. And last week, one of the things that he told me was the secret formula to his success, and that has just never stopped running through my mind since since he said it, and especially since he, I guess, I I always like to say graduated um, when someone passes because it's just a transition to the next phase. And I, I'm happy for him. Um, but he said the secret formula to his success was every time he felt inspired or he felt the Spirit speak to him or he felt a prompting to do something, his formula was this. He would listen, he would write it down, and he would do it. And he would do those things so quickly. And that's how he would follow each day doing what was right for that day in that moment. And it just created the most amazing adventures and the most incredible life we could have dreamed of. The moment that the emotions all hit me was at this first celebration of life where I was watching the beautiful slideshow that was put together and I saw this video where Grant and I were standing side by side, of course eating liquid nitrogen dipped cheese balls and blowing smoke out of our mouths and seeing the fascination on his face and just the joy. It just hit me so hard that I would never have that again. And it just broke me down. And I think every one of us, if not already, will have that moment where we truly realize that we won't be seeing Grant again. And we're allowed to have those moments because we're human and it's an emotion that we're supposed to feel. And it's okay to be sad sometimes. Monday and Tuesday were met with great sorrow at the viewing and funeral of Grant Thompson. The sheer amount of love and support from friends and family and fans who came to honor him and to show their love was something that Grant would have adored. The funeral was peaceful, filled with some laughs, some hopeful words, and a final departure and goodbye. Those of us who were lucky enough to call him family, we helped him take his final steps. Tuesday night was the final celebration of life for Grant. Friends, family, fans, and the King of Random team joined us to honor him. And in memorial of him, we all gathered on the grass in the hot sun to spell out his name that many of those on the internet know him by. T-K-O-R, the King of Random. And we honored him with one last hoorah as he would have loved. But that wasn't all. There were lots of random events as Grant would have wanted, including fire spinning, something that Grant adored and loved. One, two, three, Are we up? All right, everybody, thank you so much for coming
This is a Cessna 120. It's a tail dragger. It's got the tail wheel on the back. Now the main reason I bought this airplane almost 15 years ago is because ironically it was cheaper to buy my own airplane than it was to rent it from a school and build up the same amount of flight time. So rather than going through a college or university and paying thousands of dollars in tuition, I bought my own airplane, taught myself how to fly, challenged the exams, and came out with all the same certifications and ratings that I would have had through a university. The plane that he bought and loved so much that brought so many memories, not just to him, but to his family and friends. Flew over us one last time. Oh, there he is. Giving Grant his final send off into the sky. We love you, Grant. We miss you. And ask that all of those who want to help do what they can to do a random act of kindness in his honor and to continue to spread his inspiration across the world.